Alright, what's up guys? I wanted to make this video today to kind of debunk and go over this video I saw from Adam22 about the industry plants. Uh, so let's just get into it. Uh, I was watching it earlier and we're just going to kind of comment and go through it. It's a new season here at b Shears Tractor. We're kicking off the spring with some amazing deals on our top of the line fleet of Kubota products. No. <clears throat> Alright. So uh, today I want to do something a little bit different. I feel like I am constantly seeing questions about the whole concept of industry plants. I'm so first off, I feel like Adam's probably getting called out by people as to why he's promoting these so-called industry plants and what are industry plants in reality because um, Adam kind of dances around it and he won't really reveal it because obviously he's too connected in the industry. I'm constantly seeing people make videos about the concept of industry plants. Uh, I'm very interested in this because people keep involving my name in it, which is kind of a, a thing, you know, just because I feel like, uh, you know, people have questions, people want answers. And, you know, I'm trying to be transparent. I'm trying to be open. I want to be here to answer your questions about it. So uh, let's just dive right into it. I have some thoughts. And then once I get my initial burst of thoughts about this issue out i think then i'm going to uh, turn over to the chat and also take a look at the donations to see what you guys are saying so anyway uh, i got two people in the thumbnail who seem to be kind of at the forefront of the conversation about industry plants whenever people want to have this conversation want to talk about this it seems like those are usually uh the people that they're trying to call out baby goth and little jumex and uh i coincidentally i made a video about little so I'll, I'll make a separate video about Baby Goth and the stuff that I found out about her. Uh, but so let's just get off uh, on to the question of what is really an industry plant and why would the industry so-called promote these people and what is the agenda behind it, right? So really all of these rappers are industry plants in some way um, because, you know, when you sign a deal, you're signing your life over and you... You're basically controlled. Uh, but you might be wondering, okay, what the heck? What's the point of an industry plan? Like, what would be the reason for them to be promoting a rapper? Really, there's always some kind of sinister uh, agenda behind it, whether it's to, you know, promote drug use, promote violence, uh, promote some sort of agenda, you know? So Baby Goth, obviously, would be a valuable female rapper to... Uh, push whatever topics they want to talk about uh, with her and and push a certain image and look for the kids to follow. Well, Jim Max, pretty much as soon as he came out on the scene, <clears throat> oh, geez. And uh, Baby Goth, I've known since the very beginning. I made a vlog at one of her shows before she um, even had music out. So, yeah, I guess I've kind of known her the whole way going forward, too. So, uh, anyway... There are two people that people kind of uh, try to pinpoint as being industry plans. But there's also a lot of other artists, too. Like, even Juice World. Juice World is somebody that we're real tight with. And Juice World is somebody that I've seen people throw that accusation around about as well. So, there's a whole... Alright, so let's talk about Juice World. Um, so, again, industry plants. Everyone that is signed is essentially an industry plant on some level. Um, it's just... Some of these rappers that Adam has had on his show, um, people obviously say they're much more of a plant because of how blatantly obvious um, their their whole marketing and agenda is so other people can see through it. Whereas others, like let's say Juice World, let's say he has actually good music and then he's working hard and eventually gets signed. Uh, so after he gets signed... You know, he's officially part of the industry. He's got a big deal and whatever. And then people might say he's an industry plant. Um, that's not really what it means. Uh, my definition my definition of the industry plant is someone more like Baby Goth or someone that um, just blatantly changes or follows an agenda and is being controlled. So other artists, like let's say Juice World or other artists that just have their own style... Um, they're mainly in control and the label just got behind what they're doing. Whereas the other people, industry plants are more obvious 
it's the other way around. They're being told what to do by the label. Uh, so yeah, that's that's kind of the take on that concept here. The idea that basically is being discussed is just the idea that an artist who doesn't develop any sort of buzz on their own is somehow falling into this category of industry plant. And uh, so let's take Baby Goth as an example. She's somebody that people like to point to. Uh, the thing about her is that she hadn't really released music. She was uh, doing her thing. I guess she probably had some stuff out. But what happened is that a label found her before she actually managed to get popping on her own. And then they sort of helped to mastermind her career. They sort of dove in and they said, okay, you know, we're going to have your first song be this big look with Trippy Red and Lil Xan. You know, it's the kind of look that probably wouldn't have been a forwarded to her that she probably wouldn't have been able to actually make happen if it wasn't for the fact that she already had these uh, industry connects, if she hadn't already been signed. So to people, they look at that and they think that something sinister is going on here. And I understand where that concern comes from. But here's the thing about Baby Goth, just as an example, is let's say that Baby Goth had instead of... See, Adam doesn't want to reveal uh, that, yeah, she's a plant because... I mean, he's not going to get these interviews from the industry anymore. Signing with this label or whatever, if she, instead of signing with this management group, if instead of doing that, if she had just gone out and put her stuff on YouTube and started to, you know, make a dent on her own. And let's say that she did that for, you know, six months. Like she spent six months or maybe a year and she was just building up, you know, putting out videos and maybe the videos aren't doing that great at first. And over time, they started to get more and more views and everything. And then, you know, fast forward and all of a sudden she gets signed by a label and then she has the label's help. That's a pattern that displays itself all the time. Like We're used to seeing that. That's normal. The only difference about Baby Goth is that basically before she had managed to really make a name for herself on her own, the labels recognized that she had talent, that she had the potential to be popular, and they swooped in and they started to you know kind of market her and guide her you know, before, uh, before she was really even able to start out her career on her own. And I guess that's what people take issue with. But then let's throw out another example. Let's take a look at Juice World. Like what did Juice World do? Juice World made his name on his own for sure. You know, he was just putting out music. He had popular songs before he really had any sort of industry connections at all. All Girls Are the Same and Lucid Dreams. He had made those songs when he had no industry connections. But, you know, pretty soon after he signed to a label and he, you know, before, you know, when he did the label, then he starts to, you know, get bigger and better looks, I suppose. You know, he signed with a management group, and then he signs with a label from there. But, I mean, the only real difference, which, well, I mean, there's plenty of differences, but the only real difference between Juice World and Baby Goth is just that Juice World put in more groundwork on his own, or at least that's the perspective of the public, is that somebody like Juice World grinded and then got signed and then was able to use all the amenities that are afforded to you when you sign with a label. And the only difference with Baby Goth is that nobody, at least you know that we're talking about, nobody seemed to really know about her before she signed. And like that's, that's kind of the line of the industry plant thing. Well, here's the thing, is that there's a lot of people who are signed before you even know about them. Like, okay, let's let's take Lil Skies. Lil Skies doesn't get the industry plant thing, right? I don't know, maybe he does, but I So yeah, I mean all these guys, Trippy Red, Lil Skies, they're all promoting a certain agenda and that's why people are calling them industry plants. You can be an industry plant um with very little following or a large following. It's just sometimes these guys will or gals in some cases just blow up and come out of nowhere seemingly pushing some kind of agenda and that's why they get the term industry plant I, i've never seen anyone really call him a, a industry plant let's take a look at little skies's career though because i can tell you guys that little skies was basically signed before he really had any fans i think like i mean he probably had popular songs on youtube you know to a certain extent he had he had gotten some stuff out there and started to make, you know, some kind of a dent. But Lil Skies was signed real early on, and nobody was really talking in the backyard. I mean, that, when you think about a lot of the uh, sort of underground rappers that we've seen over the past few years, that was kind of the aesthetic that they came out with. When you look at somebody like Jumex, you know, he came out and people feel that somebody like Jumex has a cross. I would describe it. It's just, it's not that, you know, like I mean, somebody... Well, I'm not going to use the names of anyone who's deceased, but some people are trying to make the point in the comments, like, look at this artist. Like, he signed with a company, like, really early.